Bobby's not here, man. This week on Bus Pedal. Find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh? Check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at sliceonbroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. Welcome everyone to Boss Battle 158, the show in which the writers of Insert Coin to Begin.com to get together and talk about video games. I'm your host, Chachi Says, covering for Bobby FJ Town this week. Before we get to, I'm not saying that, that's his. <clears throat> so, Riz, yes, what did Chachi. you accomplish in video games this week? I got an Elgato. Did you? I did. It's very fancy, very special. Uh, and I played a little bit of Splatoon on it. Uh, watch this one get so many views and me not get a dime from it. Because <laughs> it already got flagged by Nintendo. Oh. Wow, <laughs> they don't they don't mess around over nope. there in 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 that part of the country in, in that, land? that part of the world. Um, but other than that, I've been really doing. I actually got uh, Retro City Rampage and been playing a little bit of I believe Madden. Yeah, Madden. I was playing a little bit of too. Uh, so yeah, uh, and, and King's Quest, which we will get into later. All right, Sword. Uh, I got to play a little bit of Lara Croft Go. I was a big fan of the Hitman Go series, and this is like a great cross between that and Monument Valley a little bit. It looks beautiful on the phone. Also, been putting out a lot of time into the Pac Man 256. I might have paid the uh, eight bucks for Unlimited Continues. Uh, so that happened. Why? Uh, I because I want to, and because I will play the game, and I will play the game continuously, and it's good enough. I kind of like Chachi. You played. You put some money into um, um, Crossy Road, right? Yeah, five <clears throat> bucks. Five bucks, and you're like, <clears throat> it's like they deserve my money at this point, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, you, you you get to a point where you're playing the game so much where they kind of deserve it. You can't. You can't argue with it. I mean, I, it was a free game to begin with, so yeah, if you toss true. them a few bucks because you're playing it, that's not really a crime. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's not like you're spending hundreds of dollars on, like, Avengers. <laughs> Bobby, uh, man. Are you okay, Riz? That was a bad <coughs> cough. I got a bad cough. I, I have a cough button, but... <clears throat> um, other, other than that i played a bit of uh actually tomb raider on the xbox 360 i got a little bit of time in on that it's just it's still fun it's a great story i didn't die horribly i just got thrown off a bridge a couple of times in one place <laughs> i got stuck but other than that um i didn't feel like i hated women as i played it and wow. completely died no it's, it's so freaking horrible to women in that move in that in that video game and mm -hmm. just so awkward when you're just like get crushed by a rock thud um so that's kind of a thing um but anyways chachi uh i played uh i played call of duty played uh super mario world 3d here's the thing about super mario world 3d it's a mario game that doesn't end on level eight <gasps> or world what? eight yeah i i i was all i was playing it and i was all i'm gonna beat this game today beat world mm -hmm. eight uh castle and it took me to another world I'm like, oh, come on. What Mario game doesn't end on World 8 that has worlds, right? Uh, Mario 1. Mm -hmm. uh, Mario 2, I think, ends on 6. Mario 2 doesn't really count. Yeah, um, but Mario, Mario 3 ends on World 8. Right. Uh, Super Mario World ends on World 8. I, I honestly can't remember like how Galaxy ended or anything like that. So, so I, I don't think that really had worlds, though. No, well, it, 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 it kind of had worlds. It had actual worlds of things. But I, I get where you're what you're saying. It doesn't it, the, the the linear Mario's right. Like the, that has eight stages, right? Right. But this one, there's eight worlds, as you said. But this one doesn't. No, it like, doesn't. Like Mario 64 has pretty much multiple areas to go to. Uh, right. There's no like set world. Mm. But uh, yeah, and so I was a little bit peeved at that. I still haven't beaten it. Um, not because I was angry at it, just because I haven't, I haven't uh, had time. Um, 
I, uh, I we or, we pre-ordered uh, Super Mario, Super Mario Maker. Mm-hmm. Um, so that'll be here on release day. But the problem with me getting it on release day is that weekend's really busy. <laughs> like I can't, I can't cancel everything that we have booked for that weekend um, to play this game like I want to. Oh, so, life getting in the way. Ugh. Stupid of your video life. games. Well, I, I told Chris that she had to take the week off because uh, she said that she was going to make a whole bunch of levels for me to play, and now she she can't because she started a new job. So I told her she's going to have to tell them that she needs a week off to create levels for me. Hmm. <laughs> so I can't. No, no, understand. Yeah, you're just playing but, a video uh, game. That's fine. Yeah. So, you know, and, uh, all right, let's, uh, hey, Chachi, do you want to take it around the net? It is now time for video game <laughs> three things from around the internet, net, 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 net. Yes, for those asking, I did toss it to myself. He's a self-tosser. I did. <laughs> uh, first up, uh, do you guys want to win an island? Yes. Yes. Um, Just Cause developer Avalanche Studios and Square Enix have announced a contest for Just Cause 3 in which the grand prize is a real-life island. Uh, All you have to do is be the top Chaos Point earner in the first 90 days after the release of Just Cause 3, and you can can win an island or uh, $50,000. Ooh. So it's not going to be a really big island. It's going to be a rather small island for fifty thousand dollars, but you could still win an island. Uh, the fine print. I need to point out that the fine print doesn't actually say that the island will be reachable by anything other than a boat, <laughs> and uh, it doesn't actually say that you can live on the island. Then it just why says can't, it, why can't we just have an island? I want you to live on an island. You said I can live on the island. Why no, can't I live no. On? It says you would win an island. It didn't say you could live on that island. The so, island is mean, probably as big as my room right now. Right. It could just end up being like a mountain. <laughs> About $50,000 $50, worth of mountain. So, I don't know. Uh, a Japanese modder created Splatoon meets Skyrim. Uh, so it's kind of funny because the Skyrim characters running around Skyrim world, uh, but with Splatoon weapons and firing paint. So it's 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 a couple things that don't really go together. <laughs> uh, it, it's it talk about clashing. Uh, last but not least, uh, Andrew M Films on YouTube created a live action fight scene between Zelda and Peach, and it is incredible. I watch this; it is so amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, it is. It's one of those things that uh, goes to prove that in the right hands, a Nintendo product would be well treated. Right. Um, not like the Super Mario Brothers movie. Oh. Hey, I, I feel like we have to bring that up every time someone does something well with Nintendo to remind everyone how badly it can mm-hmm. end. It's like, 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 remember, these people are doing it right. You couldn't do it with Anthony Hopkins or Bob Hoskins or whatever. And John Leguizamo. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, come on. Yeah, yeah. So, uh. Yeah, and that's all I have for you this week on video game three things from around the internet. Back to you, Chachi. <laughs> Thanks. I and wish I, I wish some, I had a transition effect to just toss it to What's yourself. That? I wish I had a transition effect to just like flip to you to yourself. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't edit like myself. So yeah. What? What? Hey, I'm playing host and myself, so you know I got to do something. All right, uh, now it's time for some things you should be wear- made aware of. Uh, Deadpool, the video game, is coming back. Ooh. Uh, it's being released on November 17th, and uh, it's being released for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One this fall, uh, and it'll be developed by Moon Studios. High Moon? Or High Moon or p- people who used to work at High Moon Studios. <laughs> oh, okay. I was going to say, because it says lays off High Moon Studios Deadpool team. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
So, so yeah, yeah, and people who used to work at High Moon Studios right. are, are the ones creating this. So th- uh, this, this is next gen. This is a next gen upgrade of the original or a new game? No, it's a next gen upgrade. Okay, okay. Um, so it'll I'm... be released. It'll be released for the current gen on November seventeenth for fifty dollars, and all of this DLC will be available as well. Oh, cool. So it leads me to wonder if they're going to re-release uh, the Deadpool game for the old gen as well. Right, because that's one of those things that was taken off the digital side, at least, right? Right. right. Yeah. So, like, it was part of like kind of the Disney Marvel by cleansing that happened. Right, and and I'm kind of curious. Yeah, like I said, I, I just want to know if it'll come back because that's something that I would buy in a heartbeat, mm-hmm. um, Espe- especially now. Mm-hmm. Like, I remember buying it a few. I actually bought the game on the on the last gen consoles, and. It, it, but if it came out now on new gen consoles with all the DLC involved in it, it would go bonkers. I think. Like the, well, the, I don't know. With, with I, the Deadpool, me... with the yeah, Deadpool sorry. movie coming out, and everything surrounding it, it would have done well if it was in the right spot, like yeah. right now. Yeah. To be fair, you can pick up a copy of Deadpool for the Xbox 360 for 18.68 on Amazon.com. So it's not un- inaccessible. You just can't get the digital version. Twenty five, about 25 bucks on the uh, PlayStation 3 version. So mm. I mean, I can get my copy. I just gotta play with those funny looking discs. So, you know, uh, oh, let's see. discs are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> right something like that um but no that's cool no i think i think definitely with the you know maybe they don't have time to put out a new game a uh, new movie they didn't put it in place whatever the case uh this makes sense to, to use that property because i think a lot of people didn't pick up on this so mm-hmm. let's just kind of uh shine it up a little bit and put it back out there it wasn't a bad mm-hmm. game like no it's a great game mm-hmm. um it's classic deadpool it was just released at a time where not everyone knew who deadpool was right. yes right hardcore so fan base the very what's that hardcore fan base and that was about it yeah and that's a small percentage of the market mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so i mean by re-releasing it you're really taking advantage of the fact that deadpool is hot right now especially yes. with ryan reynolds playing it um, this game is going to do mad numbers mm-hmm. um, when they release it, and everyone's going to assume that it's it's the movie, but it's not. Mm-hmm. So, uh, actually, hey, actually, I'm looking on Xbox's website, and you can actually purchase this for 25 bucks digitally. Well, 25 bucks says the, is the goal. Yeah, it's back up, I guess. So, I oh, guess cool. they they rolled it back out. Let me see. I'm not going to go through with the purchase, but let me make sure it's not like a dead end link or something. Uh, it's gonna log me in, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Sell my soul to Microsoft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, no, no, yeah, it looks like it's it's for real. So, yeah. Oh, cool. So yeah, and I think that Steam this recently put it back up too. That's cool. I, I, I think Steam probably. I think Steam did like a few, maybe a week ago or so. Which means I can get it for five bucks any day now. Yes. Right. 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 Huh. Well, that, that makes sense. I mean, by taking it down during the cleanse, uh, it, <laughs> what? That's what it was, really. Yeah, by taking it down during the cleanse, um, it means they they were able to control how it sold um, when they re-released it. So that's actually a lot smarter on their part. It's like forty. So. It's like forty bucks on Steam. So mm-hmm. right. That's it's rare that the PC version is more expensive exponentially. <laughs> I don't know. All right. So uh, next up, uh, Destiny released or Bungie released a trailer for uh, the next uh, expansion starring Nolan North as the little robot guy um, instead of Peter Dinklage. Um, And my problem with it, watch the trailer. It's not a bad trailer, uh, but I have two things related to this. One, uh, Nolan North is doing his damnedest to sound like Peter Dinklage for the robot. <laughs> <laughs> Which means that it really was Peter Dinklage's schedule that screwed up with the release of the of the mm-hmm. DLC. Which means Bungie should have thought of that from the beginning. Right. Secondly, who the hell is still buying Destiny DLC? I, 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 
Riz, when's the last time you played Destiny? Not not in a not in a while. Exactly. I haven't played it since uh, probably two weeks after I beat the original story, and I had mm-hmm. no interest in picking it up. Mm-hmm. Um, and and I, I did a quick search of my or a quick uh, pull of my my Twitter, and no one's playing it. Mm-mm. So I I mean I. Maybe they see a bump in, in numbers when they release the DLC. I just no. don't understand. It, it is it is like game. it's an interest generator for those people that are like, ah, I play through and I'm done. I'm good. But that DLC, mm-hmm. it, it's going to be diminishing returns. I think in general, um, I like what percentage of Call of Duty people bought the map packs, and that's probably a bigger percentage than most. But I, I doubt it's over fifty. So, um, but still, it's enough. It's enough, right? To, and I to think I that. think Bungie is trying to get more of a World of Warcrafty feel mm-hmm. to right. Destiny. And, and, and it's that's not... What it's, right. That's what it seems like, but it seems like they're failing hard because, I yeah. mean, the difference... The difference, like you said, uh, the map pack sales for Call of Duty are probably less than 50% of people who buy it. But mm-hmm. the difference is people are still playing Call of Duty. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. So they may not be... They, Buying the map pack at uh, at fifty bucks for all of them, or what fifteen bucks for just the the single pack, mm. but they're still playing the game. So Activision can still boast that at any given time, there's still a hundred thousand people playing Black Ops Two, which is three games ago, right? Mm. Or two games ago. So, I mean, you're looking at 700,000 people probably playing Advanced Warfare at any given time, and that's a low estimate? And they're trying to to milk out as much money as they can for this thing. Because uh, how much do they spend on this game? And then also they have to think about, they have to address the fact that they now have Nolan North, who they have to pay as well as Peter Dinklage, they, they paid already. Right. Or maybe still paying. Uh, so you still have that. But it, it, I, I don't know. That's all right. He's, he's just, doing this a- release the destiny two and it'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> right. All right. Um, and three DS news, uh, the new smaller Nintendo three DS system previously only available in everywhere, but the United States, Mm-hmm is finally coming to the United States. Um, it'll come with... If you get the Animal Crossing bundle, it'll come with the game, two cover plates, and an Amiibo card uh, for 220 and will be available on September 25th to coincide with the standalone games, or standalone games release. Um, and it, it says that uh, more than 15 million systems have been sold in the U.S. alone. So offering, offering, they say that offering these models offer additional fun ways to experience. I say that they're just smart and looking for more money. Yes. Um, but also uh, on October 30th, you can get the Nintendo 3DS XL edition, uh, Hyrule edition with the launch of uh, Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes. So a couple of really cool skins coming for the, the 3DS um, I, I honestly, I, I like the way that, uh, the Zelda one looks. Uh, so I may actually pick that up. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and I mean, don't, and don't you already have a 3d? No, you don't have a 3ds yet. Do you? No, I just have a DS, but still it's that, it's that last thing. Um, there are people that will buy multiple 3ds because there's the Zelda right. one now. Right. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, it is to push sales. And it's and that's how these right. things last so long because they continue pushing these and 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 it's kind of like the DLC thing. It it garners more interest, right? Um, right. You know, you always say you always say like 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 you know uh, Xbox 360 had the but well, then they have a Destiny model of it or something late or or Halo 4 or something and it was so late in that cycle and you knew the next year mm-hmm. Xbox One was coming out. But somebody's really into Halo and is going to buy that version with the Halo 4 wrapped around it, aren't they? So, um, I, I, it's definitely, I mean, it's, it's kind of a cash grab. Yeah. But I mean, that's what they're here to make people buy more of these things. So, right. I, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. I'm just pointing out that that's probably why they're doing it. Yeah. 
That's so, exactly what they're doing. Why so, they're doing that's it. That's why they do anything. That's why they're in the video game business. Because it's all about that dollar. It's all about that dollar dollar. And you play in the gaming game and stop it on the Goomba. There, Goomba. There's some things we want to say here, but we can't really for the, the audience. <laughs> sort. I don't know what you're saying. I'm saying I'm saying exactly what I want to say. So. I know. What? Riz. Yes. You played and reviewed the game this week. I did. I Tell us about it. it. Posted it today. Uh, it is a cool, fun game to play. Uh, I, I posted it in in. In my insert going to begin. In insert going to begin. I actually have two or three prior videos of me playing it on Riz Plays Games. Uh, on insert going to begin. Um, it is probably one of the nicest games I've played graphically. Uh, it, it and King's Quest. If if you guys, I don't know how many guys you guys played King's Quest back in in the. I believe it was wasn't it on floppy disks back then. It might have been all the way back on floppy disks. Yes. Yeah, I think I think it was on floppy disk when it first started. Uh, but if what it does, it, it modernizes the gameplay, and it, it doesn't really take too much from the story. It just modernizes the gameplay. You you actually play, you actually get narrated by uh, no, uh not no, North. Who am I thinking of? You're you're you actually get uh, a the narrator in this situation is Christopher freaking Lloyd Ooh. as King Graham himself in his later days. He's telling his granddaughter all these stories about, you know, about certain things. And, and as you can see in, uh, in my Vers plays games, uh, video here, um, all this thing, all this stuff you're seeing right now in the background, and this is why I love this game so much is all like all the scenes are hand painted. Wow. I don't know how, but <laughs> all the scenes are hand painted. That's what they were touting. Yeah, and technology is technology. It looks nice. It looks uh, but nice. It's, it, 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 it really pops. It really mm-hmm. looks like a, an actual scene from a storybook, like, like something you dream of. But I mean, it's, it, it, it just looking at this now, I, I still can't believe how in depth this gets. Because there's one scene where, like this, it zooms out. It zoomed out for one point, and all you can see is your little speck and the entire cave with different with different colors and schemes and all that stuff. And I got really into that. And uh, also the story and gameplay, top notch. Uh, Sierra Games did a really good job recreating uh, King's Quest, and I can't recommend this enough. If you have, I believe it's forty dollars, you get the entire series. I love how the, I absolutely we, love how cinematic this thing is. Yes, it, it, just the way this looks, I can't, I can't. It, it's just that awesome to play. Nice. And if you want more of my reaction to this, go to insertcointobegin.com. Riz, you, you sound like you're going to cry talking about this game. I'm going to. You do. Oh, yeah. Um, awesome. Wait, there, there's a point in this part right here. I'm not going to spoil it. I die in this, in this part. <laughs> and it's just, a right. pic, it, it's just the dragon just looking at me. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Riz. You're hey, welcome. Sorg. Hey. You're welcome, Chachi. Hey, 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 hey. Why don't you tell these people what's for dinner? What's for dinner? It's Slice on Broadway, supporting uh, Pittsburgh Podcasting with the Perfect Pepperoni Pizza here for well over a year, supporting us here at Sorgatron Media and the shows that we're doing, um, and, and the guests that come in here in studio. We've had a few on the show here on Boss Battle as well, uh, so we want to give them a shout-out. Check them out at SliceOnBroadway.com, and uh, stop in if you're in the South Hills of P- Pittsburgh, uh, Carnegie, PA, the Beachview area, uh, right along the tracks here where the T-Line runs. Uh, you can go pick them up and and, uh, and and let them know that the boss battle sent you. They're on social media. They're online. Uh, PGH underscore slice on the Twitter, slice on Broadway on the Instagrams, on the uh, Facebooks as well. And uh, and and thanks so much for supporting Boss Battle. Let's take a look back at this past week in Sorgatron Media. He he doesn't he didn't have an iPad. 
So he printed out the show notes. I, I have an iPad. I just have it with me at with work. Him. <laughs> I printed out the, the show notes, the rundown. I'm old school. Like I was a television producer back in the day. <laughs> I love this. Print, I love print, this. Print it. You got to have your notes with you. And I, I love this. Out. We've had people from, from the stuff. newspaper on and they didn't bring paper things with them. Okay. <laughs> I have all I have all my, look at all this. I got notes. I got rundowns. I got reference. I just love old school paper. Like, yeah. They only changed colors when you ate the show. But there are different colored ones when you was. Come at me. <laughs> But there's so many uh, different anyways. Yoshis, and they were, and they and the, all the Yoshis were named Yoshi because these are the Yoshis, Wait, the dinosaurs. Yeah, Yoshis like the colors, they mean different things. Like they can know, jump Yoshi, higher. There's a jumpy yeah, Yoshi. Yeah, one can spit fire. So just as a wrestler, but then also I think as a fan, it's just once again, I think the psychology has been lost. The psychology is it's just in a match, but it's how you promote your show and who's your champion and. What what's going on with your storylines and you know and all these things and why you know, don't let politics get involved but I just think psychology is the main thing that's lost on people like you, you need to have a champion you know if you have a champion have a champion that that looks like a champion we should get Andrew Palace to talk about pepperoni pizza <laughs> perfectly from Slice on Broadway to uh, support Pittsburgh Podcasting perfect <laughs> Andrew Palace that wears purple uh, he, he has a rest. pirate's pee on his private. Yeah, yes he does <laughs> we, oh, oh, this, for that poodle. there's a giant <laughs> poodle behind me also with us from Poughkeepsie New York and he uh, by way of Brooklyn this past weekend he is the huggable Mad Mike for I got, I got Bailey bands I got your Bailey autographs I got your NXT program I got your event shirts. I got everything you want from NXT Takeover. So, <laughs> and That's we'll be like talking a Brooklyn accent. And we'll be talking some NXT, which is funny since you spent most of your time in the Bronx. Oh man, we did so much stuff last week. It was incredible. Right. All right. Let's get to this week's sorry uh, final boss question. All right. Uh, at this time, I'm gonna vamp. Okay. You okay. guys are gonna open the link that I sent in the document. Hold on. Hold on. So I got. I got to get your audible reactions to this. Okay. Now, I was on Amazon looking at Wii U games. Okay. And I came across this. Okay. And at right. first, I'm like, "Oh, what's this? I haven't seen this before." And then I got really confused, and I gave, like, this crooked-ass face look. And everyone I've shown it to has made pretty much the same face where you're right. puzzled. Like Riz is doing now. No, I'm, I'm puzzled. still loading mine up right now. Okay. okay. Oh, you looked puzzled. Uh, I'm, I always look this way, Chachi. <laughs> no matter what Sorg says, I don't have a resting this face for That's not what I said. That's what somebody else wow. said. You do. You do pretty have uh, a... a Really good uh, resting fishy face. I do. So, all right. So, you guys have it open? Riz, are you still loading? Uh, I haven't clicked the tab yet. It's it's loaded on another tab. All right. I'm going to go and do this while Riz is. uh... See, go ahead. Okay. Uh, Okay. Okay. Um, Riz, what 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 were you feeling over there? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Did you not get it to load? Uh, it is still coming up <laughs> to, for me. To, to a point, it looks like ahead. it kind of still needs to load uh, an image but, in there yeah. um, as we go in here. So so what are we looking at for audio? It, it's uh, We're on Amazon.com, <laughs> and there's a listing for The Legend of Zelda for the Wii U, item to be released on December 31st, 2016, which is the blank black cover that says The Legend of Zelda in just straight text. Um, huh? So this happens. This happens a lot, right. actually. Which, which leads, which leads to my my final question: mm-hmm. Where should we draw the line at pre-orders being available? Um, they will not draw because the line because this is a year and a half away. They will not draw the line because they want your money and they like your money. And if the project gets canceled, like say uh, Mortal Kombat for the Xbox 360 just was. Um, <laughs> I don't think GameStop is going to contact you and let you know that canceled. And there's a few people who have forgotten that they have a pre-order. And and now, thank you for your donation to GameStop. Um, and thank you for your donation to... Actually, actually, Legend of, uh, Amazon's different. Because when you pre-order, you don't pay for it. It charges it when it ships. So right. if you're like, hey, if there's a Zelda, 
I don't want to miss it. I'm going to click that button right now. You know what, Chachi? I'm going to click the button right now. (laughs) I wouldn't do that. You're going to forget, and it's going to cause problems for you later. Oh, probably, probably. (laughs) In-stock pre-order price guarantee, which actually that helps a lot because a lot of times I will pre-order a movie. Um, I'll pre-order a movie like like a week after I've seen it in a theater for DVD or Blu-ray or whatever. And, um, and and they'll drop it if the price drops, but if it happens to be more, they'll, they'll, they won't go above that. So, there's that. Um, I just think that it's ridiculous <laughs> that Nintendo Nintendo put this up as a pre-order with zero no. details. No, as no, 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 it's no, 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 buy amazon buy gamestop will do the same thing mm-hmm. buy these retailers this is a shady business practice it'll come out mm, sometime and these are the details they have this this is like somewhere and i don't know where they get these is, is there been any announcement on the wii u zelda is, 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 nope. is they're that nope. sheet or something like that officially but somewhere on some on some corporate sheet somewhere, it said uh, Legend of Zelda expected sometime 2016. So they go ahead and put on December 31st, 2016. No, there's no, there's no date. They're like, I'm oh, pretty sure there's going to be one at some point when something gets revealed, or there's definitely not going to be a Zelda or the next Zelda for the what for the product NX or whatever it is. Um, then they will change this retroactively. And if you put in a pre-order for that, that will either get canceled. Or if you're GameStop, your money is forfeit. Or if they have this something like this uh, 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 as well, it's just it's shady. It's crappy. Don't get your hopes up um, because this happens. This happens a lot with um, tech that have specs for like watches and phones and stuff, and then they get mysteriously taken down a day later, and you're like, were those really the specs? Where did they get that information? There's a weird thing that happens in this like data entry side of an Amazon.com, and uh, and and no, the video, this is not the, the craziest thing I've seen uh, uh, go up there as a pre I, I remember, uh, who was it? I think it was either, I think it was Amazon as well. They were doing pre-orders for the NX, Right, right. And I, I, uh, was it was it on Amazon or was it another site? I, I, I want to say it was here on Amazon, but it was just, oh hey, you can buy the NX right now. Let's go buy it. Then nothing happens. Um, plus, you can tell this is really bad too because they didn't even try with this one. No, no, certainly not. <laughs> you can actually see another game like right where the Wii U symbol is and see like the, you can, you can, there's yeah. a little lip of the, of the game here. I can there's zoom in on it. No, right no, 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 actually, right. no, no, that's, that's actually the design of the case. Oh, is it? Yeah. There's like a yellow yeah. thing right there. Oh, so okay. I think, I think that's actually how it's supposed to be. Oh, maybe. I don't no, know. I don't have Wii U games. <laughs> so, well, this is kind of shifty. It's very shifty. That's very kind of, no, I, no, I found something else that's kind of shifty. Uh, there's a company on here called Gameware that's selling a copy of uh, Hyrule Warriors uh-huh. for three dollars or four dollars more expensive than it costs new. <laughs> uh, well, there like, you this, go. This game, this game is listed at sixty three dollars. Like this, this is, and this is why you go with trusted retailers like Amazon. But yeah. even they are shady in some some <laughs> cases, I guess. So. There you go. Uh, I, I just think that there, there's a point where we shouldn't be pre-ordering or having pre-orders available. Uh, no, certainly um, not. And, and, and this is again, I don't. This is not Nintendo sanctioned at all. They're just just Amazon expects to get everything, and they're like, oh, we heard a rumor in Zelda, and somebody put that in there, and, and mm-hmm. they'll capitalize on it. You know. But anyways, uh, that's kind of ridiculous. It is ridiculous. It's absolutely I how, ridiculous. I wonder how many people have bought this game. <laughs> On this site, I think you'll be surprised at the number and saddened. Yeah, uh, I'm. I'm. Trust me, anything in video games, I am never too shocked about a number or sad by a num- that same number. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's see. Hold on, I'm looking for a contact. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. <laughs> you're gonna write a. Are you gonna, gonna write, write an, an angry letter? Nasty letter? No, I want to know how many people ordered it. Here, 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 I want to. Six hundred sixteen people have reviewed it. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> That's the yeah. more ridiculous thing. Uh, because when you go and see reviews, you're like, I expect this to be a great thing when it comes out. Ah, uh, what? That's in not- two years. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm still in Hyrule Warriors. Never mind. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. I, I completely forgot which page I was on. Right. And apparently Kevin Smith reviewed it. I don't know. Or someone named Kevin Smith. <laughs> Anyhow, thank you for joining us for this week's boss battle. Oh, I think we lost. Uh, Uh, Thank you for game over. Game over, yeah. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.